Good afternoon from London. It's a bright June afternoon here in London. Uh, weather is uh, just about right. And a hello to all dear comrades, friends and supporters from Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Juchadia, chairman of the Korean Friendship Association of the UK, an official delegate of the KFA for the UK, and of course the owner of this channel, Songum 007, the voice of Songum and Juche in the deep in the UK, defending the DPRK with no ifs or buts. And today is a significant day. It is the uh, seventh anniversary of the election of Marshal Kim Jong-un as the uh, Chairman of the State Affairs Commission of the DPRK. Uh, it, uh, the position is now uh, called the President of the State Affairs of the DPRK. This, of course, is the highest office of state in the DPRK. Since then, people's career, the land of Duce, has made huge strides forwards under the brilliant and dynamic guidance of respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. During the past seven years, Duce socialism has demonstrated its durability, resilience and indestructibility despite overwhelming odds. Last year, COVID-19 was infiltrated into the DPRK by the South Korean fascist puppets and human scum defectors using balloons. By May 2022, there were many cases of fever in the DPRK. Respected Marshal Kim Jong-un lost no time in calling meetings of different party leadership organs, uh, such as the uh, Political Bureau of the... Um, Workers Party of Korea, the Central uh, Committee, and of course the Central Military Commission. Uh, and he also visited uh, pharmacies in person. Uh, the DPRK quickly went over to an emergency uh, system and medics of the Korean People's Army were deployed in order to combat the illness. The fatality rate was minimised it was far lower than other countries. Within 90 days, COVID-19 was eliminated uh, from the DPRK and without the so-called aid of the imperialists, the poisoned candy. Upholding self-reliance, the DPRK rejected aid from the South Korean puppets. Now, of course, uh, their aid was very hypocritical as they were the ones who had caused the COVID outbreak in the DPRK in the first place. Despite the increasing and ever severe sanctions of the imperialists, the DPRK has made excellent economic progress under the leadership of respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. There has been massive housing development in the DPRK in the past seven years. For example, Rumyong Street was constructed within one year and other modern streets such as Songwa Street and Hwasong Street appeared, giving the city a futuristic appearance. Housing construction has been carried on outside Pyongyang in, on a big scale. Uh, flood damaged areas were provided with new housing in 2016 and in other years. The sat town of Samijom in the far north of the DPRK was remodelled into a socialist mountain city. Now there is a campaign to construct many new homes in the countryside and people are moving into these new homes which are given to them free of charge. New factories such as the Sunshon uh, Phosphatic Fertiliser Factory came into being uh, and this factory is a totally duce based self-reliant factory. Also, local industries have been developed in many areas, such as Kinhua. Not only has the DPRK have had to contend with the vicious sanctions of the imperialist enemies, but it had to deal with the global pandemic health crisis. 
The DPRK correctly shut its borders 44 months ago, but has survived when others wouldn't last two or three days with their borders closed. This is testimony to the correctness and fatality of self-reliance and to the quality of Marshal Kim Jong-un's leadership. Moreover, the DPRK coped with the, in the emergency situation created by the inroad of COVID-19 in 2022 uh, without a single business being closed down. Now, in the UK, uh, it, many businesses went bankrupt uh, uh, and I saw places that uh, closed during COVID-19 never to open again. Indeed, under the leadership of respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, the DPRK is successfully resisting globalisation. People's Korea is not a member of the IMF, World Bank, World Trade Organisation or the hated World Economic Forum. Uh, it is pursuing a path of self-reliance and the imperialists really hate this. Lastly, respected Marshal Kim Jong-un during the past years has led the work of building up the national self-defensive capabilities of the DPRK. The DPRK became an intercontinental ballistic missile power, uh, one of about a dozen countries in the world, and it crossed the nuclear finishing line. In the past year, the DPRK, under the guidance of respected Marshal Kim Jong-un, has tested uh, a new type, powerful ICBBM, uh, such, um, such as the Hwasong Fo 18, striking fear into the enemies of the DPRK. All in all, the past seven years, under respected Marshal Kim Jong-un's leadership, have been years of victory and glory. I am convinced that the DPRK has a bright future under the leadership of respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. Long live People's Korea. Long live Marshal Kim Jong-un. Thank you for listening. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, Sungum 007 and our affiliated channel, Korean Friendship Association of the UK, uh, please uh, consider subscribing and tell your friends about these channels and share content as widely as possible. Uh, you can support us uh, by buying our publications. Please check out the lulu.com author spot in the uh, description of this video. And also, please come to our events online and in real life. Uh, we've got a couple of meetings coming up in July. Uh, we'll be posting details of those on our social media networks very soon. I say, have a great day and see you again soon. Goodbye.